Hello everyone, uh, today we will be working on something called as UI web views. Uh, what are UI web views? What does UI web view do is it lets you add um, say a website or a web page URL on itself. So what we'll be doing is we'll be doing two different UI web views, one using one using a interface builder and one using one doing one programmatically. So let's make a new project first start with a view based application say we'll say web IB interface builder make it create the application it's pretty simple uh, so what you do is take a where take go to the go to the interface builder go here you can just search for web and web view should pop up drag and drop it here and let's say I want to add a URL to this. So if suppose if I want to add a URL say I want it to be this size and this full width and I want a button uh, I already added a button. Let's remove that and say I'll type go and then I need to open put a text field over here where you enter the URL and whatever URL that is you can click on go and the web website should open here so that's what we are looking for right now so let's go and write some code to connect it to the code. So uh, first, I need to tell the code that there is something called as IB Outlet UI Text Field. Start text. Let's call it your uh, web address. So it makes more sense. IB Outlet UI Button. Star Button. Go and IB Outlet UI web view, web view star um, web page okay so once we're done with that what's that error uh, not error okay so once you press the button go be action for that and what should be the action be now let's say the action is go click or say open url okay so once that I'll go here implement the function so what it should do is let's do step by step so let's let's make sure that uh, the the xcode helps us write this entire thing so let me increase okay so now first what i need is I need the web page to load a uh, load a, load the web load the URL from the text field. So what I'll do is as there's a function called a load request. Load request. Now what does this need? It says it needs an NS URL request. So what I'll do is just press a few enter, go here, and I'll make an NS URL request object. I call it request so if it needs an NS URL request now how do you create an NS URL request URL requests are created by saying request with URL now what does this need this needs a URL so let's make a URL for this star URL equal to NS URL URL with string now it needs a string now string is something that will come from our text which is web address dot text or text field so we have that now we can pass this URL to the URL request close that and the URL request request to the load so this will load the web page so that's just three lines of code you can also write this in one single line by just saying 
something like this web page load request and it's url request so i'll just say url request request with url url ns url url with string web address dot text so there you go close all of them and in just one line you can open the url so once we do that now let's go to go to our files okay so everything is good so now let's go and connect things up so go to file owners the usual routine button go web address web page open url that is when touch up inside so let's see if it works if i run it i have disabled the internet so let's internet let's the internet on for address dot google dot com press go and what it will do is it will load the google page so there you go now the text field this uh, the keyboard is on on our way so what we need to do is get rid of the text field how do you get rid of the of the sorry not the text field but the but the keyboard so you say now the keyboard comes because text field is in focus so what you need to do is remove that from focus so you say web address resign first responder that's what you need to remember resign first responder what it does is when it opens the web page it will get rid of the keyboard so you go and there you go the keyboard goes away and you have the entire page so that's how you do this using interface builder now let's code this up using using our programmatic programmatically let's code it up using programmatically so let's see okay so let's close this and let's open a new project web page this time i'm saying web web view code and save the project now i'm not gonna add anything from the interface builder so i'll just leave it empty the way it is uh, here um, let's go let me reference the previous project copy and paste the things and it's no ib outlets no ib outlet and no ib action let's go back and copy this go here paste it here and that and this becomes void and web page since the names are same it will stay the same let's go ahead and stop this previous project close the and let's have this web view code so the only thing that is left is in view did load adding the elements so what elements do we have we have three of them so let's add them here let's say web address is the text field so i will say text field allocate in it with frame cg rect make 10 say 10 say 300 by 30 so once i give the frame next i go to the button wait not yet i guess web address dot text say border style is what is the border style for web address UI text style rounded rect. So we have that self dot view add sub view web address. Have that next. Let's go to button go and UI button button with type UI button rounded rect mm. button go dot dot frame cg rect make let's make it a little bit less so 200 or 250 so you can have enough space for the button so this becomes 270 by 
टेन विथ इज सेवेंटी हाउ मच इज लेट सेवेंटी एटी नाइन्टी सो थर्टी बाय थर्टी थर्टी पिक्सल्स बाय थर्टी इट माइट बी लिटल बिट स्मॉलर बटन गो सेट टाइटल एट द रेट वट इज टाइटल गो फॉर स्टेट यू आई कंट्रोल स्टेट नॉर्मल एंड नेक्स्ट इज बटन गो एट टारगेट सेल्फ थ्रेट सेलेक्टर ओपन यू आर एल फंक्शन राइट या फॉर कंट्रोल कंट्रोल इवेंट्स टच अप इन साइड वी हैव दैट लेट्स एड दैट टू द go okay so once we have that now next is the web page you are web view allocate in it with frame cg right to make where we want it it's a zero x coordinate y coordinate will be a little below that so it's 45 width is 320 and height is Say so let's say four fifty, or let's say three hundred. Okay, web page is done. Cell dot view, add sub view, web page not address. Okay, let's run this and see if it works. and there you go programmatically drawing a web page to your application so that's how you do web views thank you for watching again guys uh, leave your comments if you have any questions thank you